We kick off the new week with the U.S. dollar tracking mildly bid against the major currencies while getting sold against commodity effects. U.S. equity futures are trading back up a bit after selling off on Friday, and ultimately stocks remain well in demand overall, just off record highs. We have seen some demand for the euro into dips, perhaps on news of U.S. private equity giant KKR launching a 10.8 billion euro buyout bid for Italy's largest phone company. The pound hasn't moved much after coming under pressure on the less hawk communication from BOE Bailey that the inflation debate was finally balanced, thereby throwing some cold water on December rate hike prospects. There's been some worry around the rise in coronavirus cases in Eastern Europe, but as of yet, this hasn't translated into much market worry. We're looking at a shortened week on account of the U.S. Thanksgiving holiday, and Monday is already a fairly light day on the calendar. Key standouts come in the form of Canada Wholesale Sales, the Chicago Fed National Activity Index, and U.S. existing home sales. That's all for now.